Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in what note-taking strategies do you use? My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping experienced professionals manage knowledge and information more effectively for the past 20 years. So what note-taking strategies do you use? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to explain from my own perspective. Um, but the first thing is, does it really matter? Is it important? Well, if you change the word notes with knowledge, that changes everything because this is the reality. And now you think about what, what strategies do you manage, use to manage knowledge when you're studying or in the workplace, then suddenly that really changes everything because how you manage knowledge in either study or work can literally determine your future. Now, when looking at strategies, um, I'm gonna share with you how, what strategy you use can give you a competitive edge over other, other people. And I'm also gonna explain you know, my own experience, but specifically, when you're thinking about a strategy, you wanna think about two key measurements, two key percentages, for which are which are crucial when managing knowledge. Now, I used to face um, a huge challenge. So I'm just going <coughs> to. Yeah. Um, I'm so passionate about this. My th my throat's going dry. Um, so I used to use uh, two strategies for managing knowledge. Basically, I'd either sit and listen or I would take lots of notes. And I didn't enjoy taking notes. Uh, I used previous generation note-taking, taught it at school, and it was only quite recently when I started thinking about it that I realized it's a 2,000-year-old technique. That's it, 2,000 years, pre-Roman times. And it's record now, use later. We're taught it in the education system, hasn't changed at all, unlike most other things in life. And then we take it into the workplace and we might adapt it a bit, but basically we're using the same technique. And so I'd either, the strategy I'd use for managing knowledge, I'd either sit and listen, or I would take longhand notes, so use traditional note taking. And then this year I thought about it in more detail. And actually I thought, the word strategy is the right word to use because depending on which situation I, I'm in, I'm gonna use a different strategy, but it is a, now for me a conscious choice. So if it's just what I call relationship in, um, information where I'm just having a chat with someone, I'm not gonna use anything. If it's sort of single action points or questions or ideas, maybe I have it when I'm on the public transport or I'm, when I'm walking around or I just bump into someone, I just need to record that knowledge for use later. So I might use my electronic device, you know, my um, mobile phone, I'll just send myself a message. But if I'm in any situation which is important, then I'm gonna use another strategy and I'm gonna use next generation note-taking. And I explain why I use this, but basically, if I'm with someone else or I'm in an important presentation, I don't wanna manage the knowledge by listening because the human brain is, has substantial li limitations in the amount we can remember and the amount of mental activities we can do. And I'm gonna share with you now um, what I mean by next generation note-taking. And this, as I say, this is a strategy I use when working with anybody either important or anybody where I want to you know, give value. Um, so with traditional note-taking, I'd either write down something like this or I would you know, I'd summarize it. But the strategy I use now is to deep filter. So I would take out what I believe is the important information. So here, identify, note-taking, and again, strategies is important because that's what it's all about. And I take out the word used. Um, I don't need any of this. And the key is, are these strategies important skills? And can they actually change lives? Now the next um, strategy I use is deep processing. So I take all this information, I break it in single units, then I reconnect it. And by reconnecting it, I create knowledge, which is a deep understanding of information. It's a game changer. 
Now I'm going to abbreviate because that just helps with speed. Um, so identify, I breathe that, that with ID. Um, note taking, NT. And strategies. And then uh, used. Now, as soon as I spot the word and, I know I'm going to start chunking information. So and and or um, with this uh, deep processing means I'm going to chunk. And important skill. And can it change lives? Now, the reason I will use this strategy um, is because when I'm working with someone else, I want to really understand what they're saying at a deep level. And this changes everything because it increases the percentage RTU. And what I mean by that is real-time understanding. So it's been tested by cognitive neuroscientists and real-time understanding using previous generation note-taking techniques, about 64%. It's okay, but it's not great. Within two weeks of using a next generation note-taking format, your real-time understanding is gonna go up to 76%. And even more incredibly, after a year, it's gonna go up to 84%. And for people who are dyslexic, and I'm dyslexic as it happens, the news is even better. That's 23% increase above what non-dyslexics can achieve. Now, the reason I use this strategy, as I say, is to increase my real-time understanding. So if I'm in a demanding meeting or presentation, I'm actually able, or interview or coach, I'm actually able to understand more, which means I can question more, I'm generating more ideas, I'm spotting links, and it just makes all the difference. Um, so I will use this strategy particularly when working with others. Because if I rely on my listening, I can't achieve this just by listening over an hour's period. And I certainly can't achieve anything close to that while I'm down here, if I'm using previous generation note taking. The second key measurement is uh, GA, which is glance access. Now I'm able to look at this at a glance in a way I can't look at that. And that is crucial because that then in effect, it increases my memory exponentially. So here is an hour's worth of knowledge. This is the plan. This was actually a meeting. This is the meeting itself. That's one hour of knowledge. And I can see that at a glance, which means that I can use all that knowledge. The benefit for me here, and how do I feel? I feel much more professional. I feel much more in control. I feel more confident. And the reason it changes lives is because when I'm using this in education, my result will change my life. When I'm using it in the workplace, what I can see and spot can change my life or other people's lives. So the strategy I use is crucial. Um, I hope you've liked this. And if you have, please press like, and also please feel free to use any of this strategy. You know, the deep processing, the sorry, the deep filtering, the deep processing, or you can start to use the introduction smart wisdom. And of course, if you want to learn more about smart wisdom, you know, come and join me as an information athlete. Um, always feel free to comment. And critically, if you know of anyone, um, either as an individual or heads teams or heads an organization where they're really interested in improving professionalism, gaining a competitive edge, or just increasing the performance of um, everyone, then please do feel free to share this widely. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a superb rest of the day. And of course, over there or over there or up there or down there. Um, there is actually, you'll find a link where I put together some free tips for you on how to manage information more effectively.